Hey there beautiful people! I can't believe that Halloween is right around the corner and if you are looking for some fun and easy ways to make your Halloween a little more sustainable, this is the right video for you. So let's get to my four favorite tips to make your Halloween a little greener. Let's start by talking about pumpkins. I don't know about you but I have been carving pumpkins for as long as I can remember and using them as decorations so if using pumpkins is also part of your Halloween tradition, there's three things that you can do to make your pumpkin fun a little more eco-friendly. The first being buying locally. Because there's less transportation involved when you shop locally, there's less of a carbon footprint, which is a great positive impact on the environment. And also, who doesn't love a trip to the local pumpkin patch in a photo op? It's a win-win. So shop locally if you can. My second tip is to cook with your pumpkin. So whether you're using the meat of it to make something delicious or you're roasting the seeds, make the most of your pumpkin and enjoy a nutritious and delicious snack. For as long as I can remember, we've always roasted the pumpkin seeds. You just put a little olive oil and salt and you roast them and it is so delicious. And that's one of my favorite things to do with my pumpkins and another great way to make the most of your pumpkin. And my third tip is to compost your pumpkin when it is time to part ways with your beautiful pumpkin baby. If you're not already composting, check to see if your city has a pumpkin composting program. Some cities do that and that's a really amazing way for the community to easily participate in composting so check to see if they do that or this is a good opportunity to see if there is a community garden near you. In my three ways to compost video I talk about how community gardens are a great way to compost so this is a good opportunity to see if you have something near you that you can not only compost your pumpkin but your other food scraps as well so check to see if you can compost. Now let's talk about candy! I don't know about you but I always look forward to a little Halloween tree and there's a couple things you can do to make your treats a little more eco-friendly. The first being, again, to shop locally if you can. Check to see if there's any locally produced candies or treats that you can purchase and share. And if you're at the store, also check the bulk section. I haven't seen this in person, but I have seen pictures of Halloween candy in bulk bins that are wrapped in foil. So not only is this a great way to reduce the waste of the packaging of the candy, but it's also really nice that you can purchase exactly what you need. Now this year, I actually got these Yum Earth lollipops that are organic. And organic products tend to have a better impact on the environment, like they don't use synthetic pesticides, for example. And for Yum Earth, their packaging is actually produced in a facility that uses wind-generated electric energy, which is really great. Is this a perfect zero-waste candy alternative? No, it's not, but it definitely is a better alternative. And I think that's something really important to keep in mind on your sustainability journey, is to focus more on progress over perfection. Again, is this a perfect alternative? No! but it is a better alternative than some other options. So just do the best you can and try to make slightly better choices one step at a time. Now let's talk about costumes. I love dressing up for Halloween even if it's something just like a small accessory or whatever it may be and I made a whole video about different ways that you can make your Halloween costume more sustainable so I'm going to keep this short and sweet and I'll link that other video if you're interested in more but first and foremost start to see what you have in your closet. It's best to use what you have even if it's just a few pieces. Start to see by what you have in your closet and then from there determine what you need. Then try to borrow from your friends. Check to see if your friends have any accessories or pieces that you can borrow for your costume. And then if you don't have anything that you own and there's nothing that you can borrow and you need to buy something, try to shop at secondhand and vintage shops, which is honestly such a fun way too to get inspiration for Halloween costume and they have so many unique pieces. Or try to make it. Get creative. Try to make something. Try to craft something. If you're a sewer or DIY queen, this is your moment to shine. So in a nutshell, those are a few ways that you can make your Halloween costume a little more sustainable. And last but not least is decorations. I have been having so much fun making Halloween decorations this month and I have blog posts on it, other YouTube videos, Instagram posts, so I'll link those all down below and keep this section short and sweet as well. But again, try to start by seeing what you have. If you have an empty candle container or an empty jar, try to see if you can upcycle it into a cute pumpkin. Or I had some scrap wood last year, so I got the idea to make these cute little signs that are super easy with just some paper. They're pretty low waste, but it's so fun to see what you have and then get inspiration to make decorations from there. Another thing I made is this wine cork pumpkin. I'm actually visiting my parents' house right now and I made this for my parents because 
they love wine we're, we're a big wine drinking family and it's such a cute decoration that you can also keep until thanksgiving because it has like that fall harvest theme and it's a cute gift as well and upcycling and using what you have is so much fun but if you're not inspired by anything that you have try to see if there's something at your local thrift store that you're inspired by and you can upcycle and turn into something beautiful or if you're not feeling that either and you are gonna go buy something new, just try to buy things that have low waste packaging. I got wood cutouts of pumpkins and a Frankenstein at Target and they came with no packaging. So again, is it a perfectly sustainable decoration? No, it's not, but it is a better alternative. So definitely check out my other video and my blog for more inspo and please tag me. I wanna see your beautiful creations to share with others. And I hope that this video was helpful. I hope that you got some inspiration for some easy and fun ways to make your Halloween a little greener. Again, do the best that you can and just try to make choices that are a little more sustainable than what they previously were. It's all about taking those small steps continually and I believe in you. You're doing great. I'm proud of you. Thank you for watching this video. If it was helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos with tips to make your life a little more sustainable one step at a time. Thank you again so much for watching. I hope you have the most amazing Halloween and I can't wait to see you all soon. Bye!